Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 37. For the last several days, we've been talking about opportunities and a little bit of DocuSign. Today, I want to show you a quick kind of time-saving hack with DocuSign. It's going to make your life a little bit easier, especially if you're working a lot of listings and receiving either lease applications and agreements or buyer contracts. Just a simpler way to get your documents into DocuSign, especially when they're coming from the buy side. So let's dive into opportunities. And we're actually gonna go into a new opportunity I've created specifically for this use. So we are gonna look at this active landlord-based transaction. And this is actually a real life scenario. This was an investment property my wife and I have in Brenham that we were looking to lease. So if we open up this opportunity and go into the Documents tab, we're gonna connect this document or this opportunity to DocuSign, which is going to create our DocuSign room. So we're gonna log into DocuSign. And when you're in a DocuSign, each one of us as KW agents actually has a DocuSign email address. You can find that email address when you come to the inbox tab inside of your DocuSign Rooms account. So when you click on inbox, you'll see at the top here, your inbox email address. So <clears throat> you can see any documents sent to this address will be added to your inbox. So I can actually send documents to this specific email address and they'll add, end up here in the inbox. What's more, if I actually put in the subject line, the room number, and you can go into your rooms, this is the room that just got created. <laughs> Excuse me. And at the very top here, you're gonna see this room ID number. You can see even when you hover over it, it says copy and paste this room ID number into your email subject in order to send documents into this room. So let's take a light look at the real example. This was the actual email that we got from Stephanie Womack, who's an amazing agent in the Brenham area, helped us get this property leased. It was great working with you, Stephanie, thank you. And if we scroll down, this was the initial email that she sent over with all of the lease applicants, all of the kind of lease documents. This is a lot of PDFs. So to get this into DocuSign, I would have had to download each one of these and then upload them back into my DocuSign room. Or, I can forward this email, so I'm going to click on more. I'm going to forward it to my DocuSign email. So it's marty.miller at mail.docusign.net. And in the subject line, I'm going to make sure that I copy and paste the room number for my DocuSign room. I'm going to make sure I get the hashtag in there as well. And then I'm going to put that in the subject line. And now when I do this, it is going to send all of these attachments into this specific DocuSign room. So when I go into documents, and it takes a little while typically for these documents to load. However, think about how long it would have taken me to come through this email, click on download for each one of these, and then go back into my DocuSign room, go into my file explorer, click on upload to bring them all in. This is a great and simple way to get those documents automatically loaded into my DocuSign room. And of course, depending on the number of documents that you're sending over and the size of each one of those documents, these lease applications, each one of those is probably about seven to 10 pages long. So some pretty large documents, but what you'll inevitably see is your ability quickly and easily to email those documents. So again, kind of running through it, click on the inbox, you'll see the email. Go back to your room and click on your room and then at the top, you'll see the ID number. Again, it even says copy and paste this number. So when you come into that documents tab, and there you go. So it did take a little bit, but now you can see here are all the lease guarantees, the residential lease signed, all the documents that we needed from this email have now been sent into the DocuSign room. So now I can do whatever I need to do with these. If these documents are ready to roll and they've been executed by both parties, I can now come into command I can sync the transaction, right? So it'll say, yep, we're gonna send over the most recent stuff. You're good to go. I'm gonna pick my checklist type. This was a residential lease. And you can start to see, okay, now we're under contract. What do we need? First thing we need is the IBS. Go to add a file. 
we're gonna choose DocuSign. Let's actually do it, attach multiple files so we can do it much quicker. Taught you this a couple of videos ago. So now we can come in and see all of the different documents that are available inside of our room and easily line them up. And again, we did all of that by simply forwarding the email to our DocuSign-based email account and adding in the subject line, the room number with the hashtag included. That's it for today, guys. Hopefully a time-saving and simple hack to get documents into your DocuSign room when they are coming from the buyer's agent or leasing agent and you don't want to download and then re-upload them. If they've already been executed by the other party, simply forward them to your uh, DocuSign room and then you can start bringing them into your opportunity, submit for compliance and move on with your day. Hopefully you found value in this and it was a uh, easy and time-saving uh, tip. As always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Hope you have a great evening.